Hey, welcome back everybody. It's great to be with you. A uh, beautiful day here. I mean, just air is perfect. It's probably about 72 degrees right now. Beautiful blue sky. Uh, just a wonderful day. Uh, I want to think uh, just ahead of time here that uh, we have some birthdays coming up. Uh, Dan Finnanger, who's a track and field coach, his birthday's coming up this week. Sharon Johns, who's the coordinator for the faculty. Uh, Julia Long and, and Jenny Ryan, who are in the uh, college relations department. Their birthday's coming up this week and Brad Baker, uh, who's over in the library. It's gonna be his birthday. So if you see them uh, between now and next Friday, uh, their birthday's full in there someplace. Uh, just wish them a happy birthday. Uh, as far as COVID goes, it doesn't get any better, zero. We have zero cases. Uh, and so with the, you know, having gone to the, the, the mask mandate, you know, removing that and so forth uh, has been just wonderful. And again, the results uh, are just fantastic as well. Uh, as far as uh, athletics go, uh, Lauren Hamilton was voted outst outstanding senior uh, student athlete. Uh, she really epitomizes, I think, what we're trying to do at the Abbey as far as you know, sport and virtue. Our conference actually has a tagline, champions in body, mind, and soul, and uh, she really exemplifies that. Uh, she's uh, finishing up her uh, senior year as an education major, major and will soon be teaching. Uh, she is a star on the volleyball team, and she is uh, in the Hintermeyer Catholic Leadership Program. So she's kind of covered it all, and it's just a great example of the balance of our students. Uh, on the athletic front, there are so many. I, I'm probably going to leave some things out, but uh, men and women's basketball continues to just do really well. Uh, they both won their games. They, uh, I think. I think they're on a three-game win streak. Uh, great records. Kind of interesting, they're almost identical. I think women's record in conference is seven and six. I think the men is 17, uh, 17 and six. The men's record is 17 and seven. Uh, they are both seated number three going into the tournament, so we'll be watching them closely. But uh, they won their senior night games, and that, that was just great to see. Uh, baseball uh, has off to a great start. They are in their, I think, third straight uh, road trip wins. Uh, just beat Limestone. Their record's at 10-3 and three to open the season, which is off to a great start. Uh, women's volleyball, uh, I mean, wow, amazing. 11-0. and 0. I don't even know if the program's ever had that kind of start before, but 11-0 and 0 is as good as that gets. Uh, acro and tumbling, women's acro and tumbling, uh, they are two straight wins in a row. They just beat, I think it was Mars Hill. Uh, and, and that's just great to see how well they're doing. Uh, volleyball uh, swept, I think it was Lise McRae, and uh, golf, preseason favorites, and they're off to a great start. Uh, men's wrestling, they're preparing for the NCAA, uh, I think it's called the Super Regionals, and so they, they have some uh, wrestlers that'll be in that. And uh, men's bowling won their first team title. It was the Metro Classic, and so congratulations to them and to everybody. Um, as far as other events go, we have a few things coming up. We have Abbey Experience, which is March 12th. I'm telling you about it now because I'm asking you to spread the word. If you think there's anybody that might be interested in visiting the Abbey and, and seeing what this experience is like, I encourage you to, uh, to, to tell them to come. We'd love to have them, love to welcome them here. Uh, we also have uh, the homecoming registration is opened up now officially, so you can go to that. I'm sure there'll be something up here on the screen for you to go to the website. Uh, we also have a board of trustees meeting next week, and we also have uh, what's called the Benedictine Leadership Institute Awards Dinner, uh, kind of for short we call it BLI, but uh, it's been now two years because of COVID that we haven't had it. The last one we were supposed to have, uh, Justice Clarence Thomas was supposed to be here, uh, boy scheduling work, we couldn't get him to come back for this year's. Uh, but we have an incredible and worthy uh, award winner. It's Archbishop Chaput, uh, who is just uh, a marvelous, holy, good man. Uh, he's done so much to evangelize and to uh, fight for religious liberty. And uh, I mean, he's just the voice of reason and just a you know, wonderful, wonderful, good man. And we're going to be honoring him this Thursday evening. So. Uh, many other great things going on and just encourage you to follow us on the website and social media so you can keep up with it and see what's going on. Uh, but I hope I'll see you on campus sometime soon. Until then, take care and God bless. Mm -hmm.